Hey no coders, today I'm going to show you how to accept subscription payments in your Bubble application. Now other YouTube channels are going to tell you how to accept webhooks and integrate webhooks. Well, I'm going to skip all of that and we're going to do it in five minutes. Let me show you how. Okay, so here's what we're going to build. It's a live website hosted on Bubble. Um, I took one of their templates for this, so I didn't build this uh, whole structure myself. But what I did add is this billing portal here. So for logged in customers, we're going to show them this special button generated by Pricewell, which takes them through to the Stripe customer portal, where they can manage their subscription, download invoices, all that juicy stuff. If we go back to the home page, we're also going to build in this live pricing page. This updates whenever um, you updated in Pricewell and it takes you through to the Stripe checkout. And the great thing about this is we're also going to do bubble data sync. So anything that updates in Stripe is going to be updated in the bubble data automatically. Okay, so we're in bubble and we've got the full template here. I'm going to scroll down to the area where we want to put our pricing page. So normally you'd have to build up some shapes here Put some, write some text in for each individual plan that you want. And then you have to change it every time you want to change pricing. But what we can do is just drag this Pricewell pricing table component straight in here. Let's give it full width. Our pricing table ID from Pricewell. This is needs to insert it here. So over in Pricewell, got some pricing tables built up already, but let's create a whole new one. Let's create a new pricing page. And now we've pulled in, we're in test mode here, Stripe test mode. We've pulled in all of our Stripe products. I'm going to, I've got a lot of products here. So let's go, let's build up the price well pay, uh, pricing. So we've got the bootstrapper plan and the scale up plan. So that's $19 a month and $49 a month. Yeah, let's go to the next next steps. So we can choose what feature, um, what prior payment methods. All of these are Europe based ones, but our pricing is in dollars. Anyway, we can choose to pay now or pay later. That's if you want to do some kind of registration flow before, but we're gonna get our customers to pay straight away. Uh, we need some billing address information. Okay, let's give these um, some features. So let's say it's an email tool, so you get one email per month on the bootstrapper plan and on the scale up plan, you get 100 emails per month. So those features appear here, look good to go. Can add some descriptions. Let's say this basic one is for basic emailers and this is for pro mailers looks good of course we want to show this one as the most popular we can turn that off if we like but we want to anchor our um, purchases towards this uh, highlighted plan instead of the cheaper plan so now we can choose a different color if we like. I'm going to stick with this default blue. Change some icons. Maybe we want this black icon instead to make it look neater, less colorful. And that's it. Now we just go ahead and copy our page ID. Head back into Bubble, paste it in here. our pricing page gonna load up here great one email per month so let's go and preview that it looks a bit odd in the editor but in the actual on the actual website it looks like this okay so we need to give it some more space on the bottom there uh, 
that was the end. You seen that? Oh, this is the which one is this? Uh huh, there we go. That's nice. Okay, now we've got a working pricing page. This works already. So we can click here. We get set to Stripe checkout. Can enter some bidding information. And we already have this uh, nice annual hint here as well. This works lovely. And when the, when the customer subscribes, they go back, back to the bubble. Okay, so the next step is to integrate the customer portal. So once our customers have paid and we use Bubble to let them use our application, this email application, we want them to be able to manage their subscription from inside this page here. It's very blank at the moment right now. So if we were building this from scratch, we'd have to go and add some kind of uh, container here to show what plan they're on. Um, something to go and get call the Stripe API to get their invoices and add some download links, some cancel button, something to upgrade credit cards. So we need some secure form here. All oh, this is like super complex. Luckily, uh, Stripe give us the customer portal and Pricewell gives you this nice drag and drop customer portal here. So we need to, of course, we need to enter a portal ID. So let's go and create one new customer portal in Pricewell. And we'll choose one of our plans. Let's choose, where is our plan that we just created? This one here, choose this one. Okay, boom, we've got a button. We need a, a policy, like privacy policy link. And our terms of service link, let's give them these. Maybe our button looks good, or maybe you want it to be yellow. It's a bit better. We can choose what customers can do. So we, if we don't want our customers to cancel, let's uh, not let them cancel. Or if we want our customers, we want to collect the cancellation reason for customers. We can do that. And then we get a whole new button here. Um, if we want to collect it before cancelling. Or we can make the button go away by clicking after cancellation. Can they pause or update their subscription or update their billing address, download invoices, all of the good stuff is all, all available. And now we just need to go and copy our portal ID here straight into bubble and what happened there there we go and we also need to put the email address of a customer in here so luckily i've got an email address uh, ready but you can also obviously insert the current user's email in here that's what's recommended A random equals in there. There's the button. Let's move it somewhere here in the center. And now we can go to the preview version. We we'll see a nice button. Click it, and we can manage our subscription. Boom, just like that. We can cancel our plan. We can change our payment method. I mean, this person is already subscribed, but um, oh, so they're not on one of the plans we just chose, but anyone uh, is normally going to be on one of the plans that you chose in your pricing page. So that looks wonderful. Now, okay, this is great. But what happens when our customer signs up to one of our plans here? How do we know that in Bubble that they are actually subscribed? 
how does our data get updated? Now, if you listen or watch any of the other YouTube tutorials on this, they're going to tell you to install, uh, to listen to Stripe webhooks, to use backend workflows. All of that is going to take you hours to do, and you're going to have to redo it all um, when you switch from test to, to live mode. Uh, so we're going to do it the better way using Pricewell. This is super easy. I've got a lot of this set up, but you can follow the guide which is in the description below. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five fields to our user. You have to be careful that this subscription period end is a date, not a, not a text. Add these five fields. This gives you the Stripe customer ID, Stripe subscription ID, when their next payment is due, and what their price, Stripe price ID is, and whether their subscription is active, cancelled, etc. Add these five fields to your user data type, which is default in all bubble apps. You're going to go to, into privacy, and you're going to, under everyone else, you're going to everyone else who has access, this is not just random public people, anyone with an API key, we're going to give access to these five fields plus email, and you're going to say they can find them in searches and they can modify the data. Do that under privacy. And then the final thing we're going to do is go into API, we're going to enable the data API, just give us this lovely URL here, and we're going to enable it for the user object. And then we go and create a, an API token. So let's copy this one. And in Pricewell, let's go back to the dashboard so you can see. Click Integrations, Bubble Integration. Oh, my stuff is already pasted in here. So this Bubble app name is taken from this URL here. Paste that in, and then the API key we just copied. Save that. We're going to check during the saving. We're going to check that we can connect to your API, Bubble API, and then we're good to go. So now, any changes we make in Bubble or in Stripe, for sorry, are going to appear right here in our data store. So let's go and cancel the subscription here. Of course, what you can use this for is in Bubble, you can use it for hiding things, uh, removing links. So if customers Stripe subscription is not active, then you can not show them something. Or if it is active, then you can show them like the hidden content or the content they're supposed to be paying for. So he said, collect cancellation reason. Uh, I need more features. Okay. Now, of course, our plan hasn't been cancelled yet. Uh, we'll cancel on the 4th of December, so which is a few days away because today is in November. So our bubble database hasn't been updated yet. Subscription is still active. So let's go and uh, hack that. Let's presume it's going to be December already. Let's cancel them right now in uh, in Stripe. And let's see what happens in our bubble application. Let me reload the page. Everything's very slow today. The drama. This is a hundred times better than setting up everything like webhooks on yourself. We just did it for you in Bubble. So our Stripe subscription is cancelled and you did not have to configure any backend workflows in Bubble at all. This application just has pages, uh, some special data set and an API enabled. How cool is that? So if you want to try this out yourself, you need to go to pricewell.io. 
you can sign up for an account. It's free to start using it, free to use the pricing pages. And our plans start from $19 a month if you want to use the data sync. That's all for now and take care.